हेलो भिवर्स वेलकाम टू भिडियो नम्बर सेभेंटी सेभेन अफ दि चैनल केम फिली एंड भिडियो नम्बर सेभेंटी सेभेन इज द नाइनटीन एपिसोड अफ केमिकल थार्मो डायनिक्स टपिक्स अफ दिस एपिसोड इज नम्बर वन एडियाबिटिक रिभार्सिबल एक्सपैनशन अफ आईडियल गैस नम्बर टू टेम्पारेचार वल्यूम रिलेशन इन रिभार्सिबल एडियाबिटिक एक्सपैनशन एंड कम्प्रेशन so let's start so adiabatic reversible expansion of ideal gas adiabatic reversible expansion of ideal gas now from first law of thermodynamics we know that this heat absorbed at constant pressure that will be is equal to change in the internal energy here it is increase in the internal energy because heat is absorbed plus pressure volume work done by the gas so if i write in terms of small quantity so del q p is equal to d plus p dv now adiabatic expansion or compression whatever it is adiabatic process adiabatic process what is that heat absorbed or heat release that means q will be is equal to zero there is no heat absorption or no heat release system will be completely insulated so from this equation what i can write zero is equal to d plus p dv p dv is the pressure volume work done by the gas during expansion so p dv or work done by the gas that is is equal to minus de or you can write de is equal to minus p dv so what is indicated by this equation in adiabatic expansion no heat is absorbed from the surrounding but still the gaseous system is doing the pressure volume work just imagine it is pushing the piston upwards okay then from where it is getting the energy then the gaseous system use its own internal energy to perform the work of expansion or pressure volume work so as it is using its own internal energy the internal energy decreases so in adiabatic expansion pressure volume work is done by the gaseous system at the cost of its own internal energy so internal energy decreases during expansion and increases during compression right so p dv is equal to d we got it that is minus d if i take minus here we got this relation now we know that doli by dol t at constant volume is equal to cv so from here i can write it as d is equal to cv dt i can write this things d is equal to cv dt so here i can write then pdv pdv that is work of expansion or this is small work small quantity of work 
del W is equal to minus DE means minus CV DT. So, W will be is equal to overall work done that will be is equal to minus CV into delta T. So, W we can write it as minus CV into final temperature minus initial temperature because in adiabatic process heat is not absorbed during expansion so it is using its own internal energy so internal energy increases during compression sorry internal energy decreases during expansion and increases during compression so there will be a temperature change in the adiabatic process so final temperature minus initial temperature so this is the work done in adiabatic reversible expansion of the ideal gas now our next topic is the temperature volume relation that is temperature and volume relation in adiabatic adiabatic process so in adiabatic process what we have observed that what we have derived that pdv that means the del w is equal to pdv is equal to minus cv dt so it is reversible process reversible process means which takes place through a large number of infinitesimally small step so pressure remains constant at any particular step but it is not same for all the steps so this pressure is not constant for all the steps now we are going to derive relation between pressure uh, sorry volume and temperature so what we have to do we have to change the pressure in terms of volume and temperature right now we know that pv is equal to rt for one mole of ideal gas okay so therefore we have to exchange the pressure part because we want to derive the relation between volume and temperature so p is equal to rt by v now we write down this equation p dv is equal to minus cv dt now in place of p what we can write rt by v into dv is equal to minus cv dt now for overall we have to do the integration so here it will be the integration from v1 to v2 and here it will be the integration from t1 to t2 r r is universal gas constant okay so we can take it outside of this integration sign so r into v1 to v2 then what i'll do it here i'll take dv by v is equal to minus cv i have taken this i want to take this temperature with dt so t1 to t2 then dt by t okay now what will be this integration then it will be r ln 
final by initial so v2 by v1 is equal to minus cv again ln it will be t2 by t1 we got this one now we know that r is equal to r is equal to cp minus cv so what we can write cp minus cv ln v2 by v1 is equal to minus cv ln t2 by t1 now dividing the equation by cv so here we write dividing dividing by cv then what cp by cv cp by cv is equal to gamma see here cp by cv is equal to gamma remember ratio we denote it by gamma so cp by cv if i divide it by cv that will be gamma minus cv by cv that means 1 then ln v2 by v1 is equal to minus we have divided by cv so no cv will be there minus ln t2 by t1 okay so from this equation what can we write we can write it as ln v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to minus ln t2 by t1 we can write it so from this equation we can write it as from this we can write it as ln v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to ln t1 by this minus is there no so i am removing minus t1 by t2 so from this equation what we can write we can write that v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to t1 by t2 okay i write in the next page so last we got it as v2 by v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to t1 by t2 okay that means more clearly i am writing v2 to the power gamma minus 1 v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to t1 by t2 so what you can write t2 v2 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to t1 v1 to the power gamma minus 1 we got the relation that means therefore what we can write tv to the power gamma minus 1 is constant for adiabatic reversible expansion or compression this is the relation between this temperature and volume hope you have understood Thank you.